everyone. My name is Alina Kazi. I am Apache Royale Committer and Developer. I have 10 years development experience. Today we will talk about the powerful features of Apache Royale that can greatly enhance your application's functionality and flexibility. We all know that software development often requires integrating with various tools and libraries. Apache Royale has got you all covered. Even if when it comes to incorporating code, that's not originally the part of framework. Imagine a scenario that you are working on Apache Royale application and you want to add quickly a new functionality that is not available uh, in Apache Royale. Maybe you want to tap into a popular JavaScript library to handle the task spe specific task effectively. This is where the externs come into play. We can seamlessly inject additional capabilities in our applications by leveraging external code using Apache Royale externs mechanism. It's like extending the capabilities of your application by tapping into vast ecosystem JavaScript libraries even if it weren't originally written in external script. For example, if something is written in JavaScript and we want to embed that, those things in Apache Royale, so there, there's an option that we can use them in some other way by uh, using the external JavaScript. There are two solutions. One is using externs compiler directive. The first approach involves the use of externs compiler directive. This directive is a way for Apache Royale to declare that certain names, be classes, properties, functions are defined in external JavaScript code. This ensures that these names are not renamed during the compilation process of your application code. That means that if the compilation occurs, it does not rename the existing uh, function names that are already existing in JavaScript. It is a robust method that allows you to access JavaScript methods seamlessly through action script, employing familiar dot access syntax and benefiting from code hinting in the IDE. The second solution is GCC, Google Closure Compiler, the externs mechanism and other powerful method to utilize external JavaScript libraries is by making use of GCC and its externs mechanism. Apache Royale leverages this mechanism to let the compiler know that certain identifiers are ident defined in the external code should not be renamed. This ensures that the compiled JavaScript code works seamlessly with the expected environment. The beauty of these approaches is that they do not provide only provide robust and structured access to JavaScript methods from external script, but they are also enable you to move quickly when prototyping. If you are in a rush to prototype something, you can employ dynamic syntax with brackets access notation to achieve your goal with sacrifice, without sacrificing functionality. eCharts is a powerful JavaScript visualization library empowers developers to create stunning interactive charts, graphs, and their web applications. It is versatile for feature-rich JavaScript charting and visualization library. It's designed to make more complex data visualization tasks simpler allowing developers to create interactive and visually appealing charts, appealing charts with ease. Whether you are building dashboards, reports, and data-driven applications, eCharts offer a wide range of chart types, customization option, and animation capabilities. If we see this wrapper class, the action script class, you have the externs on the top, and you have the compiled JS tag starting the class, public class, eCharts. This is the wrapper class. If we see that the source is injected that would be generated in the output file that would be the final file that would uh, generated by the compiler to compile action script code and generate the js code this would be injected in this code now let's talk about the magic of integrating e-charts in uh, in your apache royale application apache royale takes the concept of seamless integration to the next level by providing a wrapper around e-charts this is the bridge for joining the JavaScript with Apache Royale, allowing you to harness the power of eCharts without leaving the comfort of action script. If we see these are the methods, init, connect, disconnect, dispose, register map, get map, register theme, register local. This is the way that we have implemented the object and we have used these methods for the interaction with eCharts. We have created a group and that the, then we add the element to it. We have only used in the action script code the eCharts.init method that we have passes the element and automatically the chart is created. This is the eChart basically. If you see 
that we have the text area if there is a developer who knows the javascript can easily embed that javascript code in apache royale by we do not have to modify any element in any way it work as it is like it was working before in javascript for this implementation we just set option and we make it auto resize on the last and then the chart is created accordingly these are the components customized components that are created using the charts if you see these components they they have some uh, implementation for customization like update access pointer uh, that's the bead created that is a customized royal bead and all other instances refers to the same javascript code this is again the chart if you see this chart this is also dynamic e chart that is created in royal this is also a chart for the communication between apache royal and uh, e charts if you see this chart you have the reset node option if you click that reset node it would automatically reset all items the whole functionality that is achieved on this chart is basically achieved from the javascript code there's nothing that is implemented in the action script code or royal to make it work this is again the e chart when we select some item it generates some chart for tops and accumulated data and this is the chart from the ice application now we move to the next javascript prepper library for the calendar that's moby scroll and js calendar first we start with the moby scroll now i'm going to share the structure that how we build this calendar in apache royale we have to create a library specify the library name and copy the contents of the javascript and cs code to the project and paste paste those resources in your library if you see this structure we have the moby scroll default.css file and the manifest file that actually helps to compile the project and adds the control the components to it this is a moby scroll uh, class basically we put the extensions on the top again the same the compile js block and we have injected the script and link below if you see that the create element actually creates the script we add the source and we pass it to the javascript we add, add it like we normally inject something in the html this is the same way we do this in the wrapper class these are the methods of moby scroll get inst date date picker select event calendar toast util settings option set options these are all the methods that actually exist in the original javascript class and these are in the available in the wrapper class as the prototype if you see this we have created this control date time field this is the range control and basically what the moby scroll library is about it's the js library and is a game changer for enhancing the mobile experience especially it can be built for mobile application because it has a great touch sense and touch screen capabilities to uh, scroll the calendars or the range calendars moby scroll provide a wide range of customizable and mobile friendly ui components such as date pickers time pickers and various type selectors all optimized for touch interactions with moby scroll you can ensure that your users have a delightful time navigating and interacting with your app on your mobile and other devices elevate your user experience with moby scroll powerful features that seamlessly integrate seamlessly integratable now i'm going to show you this iest application part if you see that there are two locally local for this application one is in english and the other is in spanish if you see them these they if it it has accept this has acceptor cancel all are in spanish and english available these are the range control start date final date if we select the range end time for start date and end date it would work automatically like any other available javascript control but the wrapper class makes it easier to embed it in the existing 
Apache Royale application. This is again the example of another movie scroll calendar. If you see that the, this calendar is selectable for different ranges, it does not include the time. This is the inline display that means that the area of this display will, will be same as uh, the calendar in the JavaScript of the Mobi scroll. Uh, we just we have to set some parameters like calendar range, inline, touch false because it is for the uh, desktop screen. Moving to the next slide, this is again the example of Mobi scroll. We have set the timeline and the adding the resources. These are all the resources that are added to the control. You see them. Moving to the next slide. This is again the movie scroll example. We have set these elements and it shows the picker on the click and this is the event listener for the click and it opens the instance and returns false. This is the JS calendar wrapper. JS calendar is a versatile tool that implies time management in your web application. JS Calendar is a JavaScript library designed to create interactive and user-friendly date and time pickers like Mobi Scroll. With its initiative, initiative interface and customization options, JS Calendar empowers users to effortlessly select dates and times that matters to them. Whether you are building a scheduling app, a booking platform app, or enhancing a form, JS Calendar adds a touch of elegance and efficiency to the to your user experience. Embarrass JS Calendar to streamline time related interactions and provide users provide your users with a seamless journey through the time. If you see its implementation, these are the set, refresh, reset, select, unselect, clear selected, is selected, is visible, on click, these are the events again uh, get selected, these all are the methods. These are the prototype methods of the class that are implemented in ActionScript library and that would generate the JavaScript code and would help to the web the class. This is again a new example. In this example, we have added this, cal this calendar. This is the multi-calendar for 12 months to make it a year calendar. And when we select any date, it automatically adds item to here. For example, if uh, we have to see the holidays of the like existing country and we can add those uh, days in the calendar. We have this multi-month multi, multi -month calendar to add those days. Moving to the next slide. Virtual Select is another JavaScript library. A game changer for transforming your select input, Virtual Select a powerful JavaScript library that takes the standard HTML select element to new heights. It offers dynamic loading and visualization of options, making it perfect for scenarios where you have a large number of choices. By selecting Virtual Select, you can enhance user experience and performance. It loads options on demand, ensuring fast rendering and smooth interactions. Even the extensive with extensive list of choices. This library is ideal for applications that deal with extensive data sets, enabling effective and responsive select inputs that, do not, that don't compromise on user satisfaction. If you see this wrapper class, it has virtual select and the in JavaScript and CSS is injected. This is just the wrapper of it and we have these values, functions, set value, reset, set option. These are the methods that ensures the functionality and the implementation of the prototypes. These are other methods, open, close, focus, enable, disable, destroy, select all, is selected, add options. These are the methods that helps to implement the functionality. This is the example of uh, virtual select. This is again the part of the iced application. If you see, this is the virtual select with multiple options. This is a clear, clear icon. This is with the search bar that can access.
this is another search option this is multi selection option this is multi selection option with search bar and this is all the setup that on the right right hand side this is just the setup that initiate all of them by modifying certain option if you will set the se uh, search to true then it would, uh, it would also give you the search option if you will select multiple to true that it allows you for multiple selections etc and if you want to disable certain options you can statically disable these options from here moving to the next slide inspire tree is a powerful javascript library exists in rendering and manipulating hierarchical data structures in user friendly and vis visually appealing manner it's a versatile solution that not only makes complex data accessible but also empowers users to interact with it seamlessly imagine your application dealing with a hierarchical data structures such as organizational data charts file directories or nested categories navigating and visual visualizing such data can be a challenge but that's where the inspired library steps in we can create tree, creative trees build interactive trees structures that allows user to expand and collapse uh, and explore nested data effortlessly whether you are showcasing team structures or visualizing product categories inspire to offer you any initiative way to present your information if you see this wrapper class it has again these classes for config options node nodes pagination these are all the options available you have the options for the customized appearance tailor your appearance of the tree to match your application's design language for example if you are using certain uh, theme in in jewel you can also style those icons in the spire tree accordingly by just modifying the css of it creating it it as sas with the customizable theme you can handle the data dynamically using the inspire tree manipulate the data with ease using add remove reorder notes option programmatically it allows you to change the data as it was available in the original javascript library you have also the options to utilize callbacks and event listener to respond to the user interaction that if you if user click to the certain option it allows you to gen, to results uh, another me method that is customizable click selections or drag and drop actions can be used by like can be accessed by using the inspire tree library so inspire tree enables you to make your application highly interactive you have also the search and filter options in this application next in the next slides we are going to see the real time example of it implement the search and uh, filtering functionality with the tree to help users quickly locate specific nodes even within the extensive hierarchies In conclusion, Inspire T library offers a comprehensive solution for presenting and managing hierarchical data structures in a user-friendly manner. From visualizing visualizing organizational structures to simplifying the navigation of complex file directories, Inspire T empowers your application with dynamic and insightful data representation. So if your application is dealing with hierarchical data, let the Inspire T library elevate your application data visualization game and empower your with in with an enhanced understanding of your data so we are going to see the example here this is the data again we have the op option to set local locally and you see that the video in the in this video you have this inspired tree we can have select multiple items at the same time the disabled icons are in the red color and you have the select options if all items are selected it is marked if some of them are selected it's the box so this is the implementation in the iis application for inspire tree this is the hierarchical data you can expand all the items together you can collapse all the items together if you see if you hover the items you see that the this the locally set on all the icons and the tool tips also moving to the next slide this is inspire tree component how it is implemented in the application of iist 
you see this is the general basic component this is the free control that is customizable this is again the example of inspire free real time interaction with apache royale application these all other controls are from apache royale and this is the only part that is from the external javascript library inspired free if you see does it looks exactly same like the original theme and the original application though it is totally a separate components and integrated in this environment moving to the next part ag grid is again a wrapper library ag grid is cutting edge javascript library that empowers developers to build feature rich and high performance data grids effortlessly with ag grid you are not just creating tables you are creating dynamic interactive and user centric data experiences that elevate your applications capabilities it's powerhouse that the this revolutionizing the way to handle the tabular data imagine your application dealing with vast amounts of data that need to be presented filtered sorted and manipulated in the user friendly and effective manner that's where the ag grid comes into play Let's dive into what AG Grid makes exceptional. Its customization with the columns and rows. AG Grid offers unparalleled flexibility in configuring columns and rows. You can define custom headers, group of data, and pin columns for an optimized user experience. Data manipulation AG Grid allows a data manipulation of breeze. User uh, users can sort, filter, group data on the fly, ensuring that insights are always with within reach. we have the cell rendering options this is the wrapper class if you see this in the wrapper class we have this in, we have injected the script we have not implemented any other methods we are using them directly as a javascript component if you see this we have injected the script and the this is the example real time example of ag grid if you see this example we have this options for sorting the data column wise and you can apply filter with an and or options and you have several options for manipulating the data in this grid you have this options for the pagination if you see this uh, if the data is in larger amounts you can make them accessible from this um, pagination option and you also have option to filter the data with or options column wise sorting filtering the column separately and it combines and give you results for example the honor uh, is sort by arham and the model is sort by revo if you see these both columns are sorted and th the only items that contains arham and revo are shown in this grid you have also option this to export it if you see this it, it exports the data filtered data in the excel file so that's all this is the ag grid example uh, the code wise example if you see this these are the columns defined the header columns defined this is the row data that is shown this also that you allow you want to allow it as an editable um, grid you want to allow filter you want to allow it to re resize each column individually mm, and if you want to allow the multiple selection on this grid and you all pass all these items to this function that is implemented in the wrapper class you see we haven't implemented these these methods in the we are, we are accessing it using the objects we are not we haven't make the wrapper like the api for each of these uh, the prototype for each of these functions but we can directly accessing using dot operator but it doesn't allow us to code or anything facility because we are directing accessing it the javascript objecting using dot 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 operators so on and so forth that's all thanks to the apache software foundation and the organizers of the event and a very special thanks to the ice management who allows me to showcase their application and features that has extens implemented and also maria from the developer who has implemented most of them thank you very much